stood in front of the latest string fit unit from Heimer. You know, how is, does it differ from all the other ones in the marketplace? Well, this, uh, this piece of equipment that Mazak have purchased is fully I4.0 ready. So the QR reader that we have will read the, the uh, QR label on the, on the uh, tool holder and set the correct uh, setting heating parameter on the coil. On this particular one, it's set for position seven, which we bring the coil down. And this is a new generation double co dual coil. This then, when we turn the, uh, the coil on, will heat the, um, uh, the holder to the correct temperature in which we can then take the tool out and replace it. The tool comes out, we can change the tool, pop it back in, and then on the, the light up there, it's telling you which cooling jacket is required to heat, to cool down the holder uh, in around about a minute's time. That'll be down to about 30 degrees from 350 degrees C, so where we don't go past any sort of um, uh, position where we're taking the the material past its point of, 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 of tempering, if you like. So now uh, that will be cooling around about a minute at about 30 degrees, and then we can handle that and into the machine. So a couple of points there. Obviously, that's the latest generation coil. Why is it so much better than your previous generation? Well, this generation coil is dual. It has two, two uh, heating elements on the coil, which will heat there and there, giving uniformed heat throughout the holder. This way we can control the temperature so it's not being uh, uh, localised in, in one area too much, causing damage to the holder. So there's a couple of points I'd like to add there. You've talked about the new technology and guaranteeing heat in the tool holder. What happens if it's, I'm using older technology and I put too much heat into the tool? OK, if we put too much heat into the tool, we run the risk of tempering the holder. This could then put bend the um, tool holder out of shape and cause run out of the holder and then that will in, uh, have an impact on tool life and cause poor tool life and poor surface finish also. What I like about this, okay, it, it's very easy, it's very easy, is it? you've almost de-skilled the, the art of heat shrinking, it's pretty much impossible to make an error. Well this is it and this is what i4.0 is all about, um, getting accurate information uh, to, the, to the system and the network with as little possibility of human error uh, within the system. And what would happen if I was using a different brand of tool holders with ballast chips and things like this? Yes, this machine is still capable of, uh, of uh, heating those up, yes. Mm -hmm.